Hello, this is Paul Tracy and this is the third in my gripping series of getting started with TurboCAD. Now, w today we're going to look at the uh, circle and ellipse tools. Now, as long as you've followed the first uh, couple of tutorials, most of this will be quite straightforward for you. So, we'll just walk through the, the, the palette of them one at a time. Circle by center point, that simply means that when you first click, wherever you click will be the center of your circle. So you can click to a, a grid, G there, as we've shown you before with the snaps. Second one is concentric circles. We can do that exactly the same way by hitting a G for grid, uh, clicking on a mouse, moving a mouse, clicking again, clicking again, clicking again, and then when we've had enough, hit cancel, we've got that. Or the other way, which what you'd probably want to do if you, if you knew the sizes, would be simply down the uh, bottom left down here where we've got these boxes, radius, diameter, circumference. So we knew the radius, so say so I type in 12, hit return. Next one I want 15, hit return. Next one I want 25, hit return, etc, etc. And then cancel to get rid of that last one. Straightforward enough. Circle by two points. Circle by two points could be quite useful if, say for example, it would be a way of finding the center if we wanted to put a circle in, this, in the center of this rectangle, and this is a slightly long way round, but you could do M for midpoint here, M for midpoint there, and then you could either change the size of that circle, or you could just do pick a circle by center point, do the snap, C snap, and that's there, and then you could get rid of the, the circle. It's a long way round, because in reality you'd use the E snap for the center of polygon, and you'd get the same result. But a uh, circle by two points, or it calls it double point circle, is quite a useful tool, especially in construction geometry. We have then got circle tangential, circle tangential to an arc or a curve, so that's simple enough. You just click onto the arc or the curve you want the circle to be tangential to. First click gives it the size, second click says where it is. And of course you could put little marks on this circle and snap to those marks if you wished. Then we have got circle tangential to a line, works in exactly the same way, run it up and down. First one gives you the size of the circle, second one the uh, where it is. Then we have uh, a circle, a triple point circle. So in actual fact, if we've got three points, let's do something up here, oops, sorry, too fast. If I wanted a circle to meet all those, the ends of all those points, I could choose triple point circle, and I could do V snap, V snap, and V snap. That does that. Then we have a circle tangential to three arcs. So you go one, two, three. That's done that. Sometimes that goes a bit funny in the arc and go around the other side. You just have to right click, cancel, and do it again. But you'll get the hang of it easy enough. And then the last one is this one here. Now this one's a really nice tool, as some people in this office would say, a cool tool. Uh, let's imagine that this here is a, a gate, and you have to draw this gate. <coughs> uh, this, this is the uprights, the two uprights, and um, we have a curve that's going to come along here, and we know the radius of that curve and it's going to come up here and we know the radius of that curve and that curve and the two need to join each other. Now this is how we would do it and using this tool here. This is a good one. It's a cir circle tangential to entities. So first of all, I'm going to pick a circle by two points and I'm going to draw my first circle. So if I said, I mean in reality I'd, I'd type the size in but I'm not going to. So this is the first radius we know, and now we need a circle coming off, or an arc, sorry, coming off here, that's going to be tangential to this circle, and go through a point at the top of this gate here, perhaps there. So that's the tool we use. Now, the first circle we hit is going to be, I've now got a circle that's tangential to that first circle. Now down here, if you look down here on the side, as well as the size of the circle I can type in, there's this little thing that looks like a ring. Now if I click onto that ring, where I click next, it will not be tangential, but it will go through that point. And I know I want that to go through this point here. So I click onto this circle here. I then I like do a snap there for the G. And now 
and now my circle is tangential to that <coughs> to that large circle and it's going through that point and so I go click <coughs> I'm now going to introduce uh, start to introduce the modifying tools here's the modifying tools and we're going to these top ones are the, the 3D, 3D ones and these are the uh, sorry these top ones are the 2D ones these ones are the 3D ones where we're at so what I want to do is I want to split these circles so third one down split I want to split this circle from that point there and that would be an intersection where that circle touches the post and that's an intersection there I want to split this circle from that intersection there to that intersection there now although they look the same now in fact these circles are split up into two individual parts and all I'm going to do now is simply get rid of the parts that I don't want, I don't want that part and I don't want that part and there's my line now one other thing to remember is that if you want to <coughs> with this drawing if later on you want to turn this into 3D to extrude it what we have at present is two lines two separate lines and what we should do really it's probably a good idea at this point is to add those lines so go back to modify and join polyline and we join that polyline to that polyline we come down to the left here and hit the finish flag and now that's one line and then later on we can do offsets to it and extrude in whatever okay there is one other thing that I didn't mention in the earlier ones it's if we go to a snap mode if I try to do a snap mode from this vertex and I go here and I go V oh it's worked hang on let's try and do it I'm trying to do it wrong here V ah right I'll try to do a snap and I get this thing up all that means is that in reality I'm not close enough to the thing you want to snap to so just say OK and put it a bit closer the other thing I've not mentioned before is that you see I'm in a line mode here if I want to get out of that line mode because I want to select something if I hit the space bar I come out of that and there I can select okay so two little tips and lastly the ellipse tools so they're very straightforward the first one I can I can do it by eye but as you can see down here I can simply type in the major and minor axes the second one I could do exactly the same only this time I can type in an angle for it so it's major and minor axis plus an angle and the third one is the relationship between the major and minor axis so it defaults to two so it's that so if I change that to, to nine I'm going to get a much longer ellipse okay that's it for circles and ellipses